Well, he's known for his series of travel books, including the Kentucky Bucket List and the best Kentucky trivia book ever. His newest book, It's a Kentucky Thing Y'all Wouldn't Understand is now out. We welcome author Michael Crisp. We've already been having fun talking about a few of the phrases that, of course, we've come to love over the years. Absolutely. This had to be a lot of fun putting together. It really was. At the start of the process, I found maybe three to 350 really great Southern expressions, and I wanted to whittle them down to 100. And I think I put the top 100 in this book. All right, so you got to hit us with a few of your favorites. Well, at the top of the list, one of them is pitch a hissy fit. Oh, yes. Oh, and I've used that one a lot. Yes. Yeah. I use it in the morning every morning. Yeah. No. <laughs> I use it for Jim. <laughs> Does Jim pitch a lot of hissy he, fits? He pitches a lot of hissies over there. And he's yeah. not even defending himself over in the quarter. Yeah. But uh, also, I reckon and yeah. over yonder, God willing and the creek don't rise. There's so many great phrases that we've grown up hearing and that we even use nowadays. So uh, we just love putting this book together. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So. Talk a little bit more about who gave you these ideas. Are these all from your head, or you said that people kind of submitted them to you as well? Well, the idea from the book uh, came from my wife. She was mm -hmm. reading an article in, I believe, Southern Living Magazine about really great famous Southern expressions over the years. And she suggested that I do a book all about these expressions. So at that point, I went ahead and started researching a lot of them, and we made a list together of a lot of our favorite expressions. And that was just a hoot and a half putting that together. And then did a little bit of research on some really fascinating origin stories behind a lot of these expressions, too. Where did you find all of that information? I'm curious about that. Well, the how internet do you go, was I really, helpful. how do you go back tracing a, a, you know, a crazy phrase like that? Well, there were so many great phrases to look at. And when you really dig deep in the internet, you can find uh, some really great sources for that. For instance, have you ever heard of the phrase old codge or old codger? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, from uh, that comes from the days back in Scotland. If you were into falconry, you would hire an older gentleman to come out, and he would have a falcon in a codge or a cage, and you would be able to do falconry with him. And then that just through the years became codge uh, went to cage and back back and forth. And like nowadays that. we have old codger, old codger. What about bless your heart? Bless your heart. I don't know the origin behind it, but it's I, in there. It's it is it in is there. It's it. one of the top ones. <laughs> where can people get it? Well, you can find it all over where fine gifts are sold, all throughout Lexington, Central Kentucky, several different uh, places, all throughout Kentucky. But also, it's available online at michaelcrisponline.com. Wonderful. Merry Christmas. Yeah. I think a lot of people will enjoy that on Christmas morning. <laughs> Thank you. you Very too. good.